and the school of guidance counselor was trying to get me interested in uh, college courses and I always told her that I was going to play professional ball. And she said, but Sue, girls don't play professional baseball. I said, I don't care. I kind of had the attitude that good Lord would see to that. My dad was reading the paper and he said to me, there's an All-American baseball, girls baseball league that's having tryouts and it's going to be right in the neighborhood. We had a strong passion for the game. Everybody was trying to do their best and trying to make the team. You knew what you had to compete against. You knew what you had to beat. Let's switch to some activity on a little more glamorous scale. These girls look like a group of college co-eds, but as you see them now, they are the South Bend, Indiana, entry in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. You had to learn the not only how to play, but the intricacies of the game, the whole game, the whole thing. Whether you were a catcher, a first baseman, a pitcher, or an outfielder, you learned it all. The people thought they, oh, they're going to go out and have a good laugh and see this novelty that, you know, women playing in skirts. Well, they, they weren't laughing when they saw how well we played. You had to have confidence. You had to think that every time you walked out on that mound, you walked out on that mound for one purpose, and that was to win that ball game. I never thought I would see a women's professional baseball team, and never thought I'd be on one. 